Oh, so today I see in the news, we've got vegans complaining again. We know they're very angry and they're not getting all of the essential nutrients that they need for their brain to function optimally and for them to not to be so emotionally imbalanced. So what I saw in the news today is about this Impossible Whopper burger that is a plant-based burger. Apparently it's good for the environment, good for vegans. Well, I don't know about that. Like it says down there, processed food and it's high in fat that are unhealthy fats that are refined fats that are not good for us whatsoever. So this is the news article of today. Vegan Sue's Burger King claims impossible Whoppers are contaminated. So they're saying that it's not 100% vegan, but guess what? It's not marketed towards vegans. It's marketed towards people that want to eat a plant-based diet or more plant-based foods in their diet. And if you see, there are many vegans trying it, like this vegan YouTuber, and this person actually tried it and they actually ended up eating the meat Whopper burger. So they had some issues. This vegan family was eating the burger as well, but the vegan one, they didn't accidentally get the meat based one like that girl here. So as we know in America, people love to sue people. If they can, they do it. Why? Because they can get a lot of money and not put hard work into actually creating their own income. So, it says in the article, a self-described vegan has sued Burger King for allegedly misleading customers by not informing customers that impossible whoppers are flame broiled with the help of beef fat, which is completely untrue because if you actually go to their website, first off, it says it has creamy mayonnaise in it, which is not vegan. So if you're vegan, you need to ask to have it without it. And it has a star thing here, it says, for guests looking for a meat-free option, a non-broiler method of preparation is available upon request, which means it won't be cooked on the same things that they use to cook the burgers with the beef ones. They will use it on something that's separate, so there's no cross-contamination with meat-based foods. And it does even say here allergens egg, which is the mayonnaise, so that could get removed. So they're not saying it's 100% vegan burger oh since i stopped complaining jesus even when i ate one of these when i was vegan i knew that if you get from burger king it's not 100 percent vegan so it goes on to say philip williams of georgia who is seeking class action status for his lawsuit on behalf of similarly situated individuals said the fast food company cooks its vegan patties on the same grills as its traditional Burgers. Oh my god, it's going to be the end of the world for the vegans. Like, oh no, that's so bad. It's like, do your research. I've made some mistakes in the past when I was vegan. We're not doing my research into companies that are food based companies that sell also meat based foods. And then I made a mistake and didn't inquire to make sure it was 100% vegan. And it was like, okay, they turned out to not be vegan. That's not my own fault. I take full responsibility. And then it goes on to say, thus covering the outside of the Impossible Whopper's meat-free patties with meat byproduct. Oh, yeah. The meatless Impossible Whoppers are made without beef, but they're not necessarily vegan-friendly at Burger King location. On its website, Burger King said the burgers include mayonnaise, which contain eggs. So how are you going to be suing them? They didn't lie to you whatsoever. It was just you being stupid and not doing your research fully into this. Like, it's your own fault. The fast food company also suggests its vegan customers specify that their Whopper Impossible burgers be cooked separately from the same broilers used to prepare beef and chicken. So they do offer an option, well, multiple different options. You can have it without mayonnaise. They can cook it on a different broiler. So then it is having no cross-contamination. It's not... Therefore, all they state that on their website. Uh, William said he observed no signage disclosing that fact at the Atlanta drive through which he recently purchased his Impossible Whopper, a situation he called deceptive. Oh my God, seriously. In his lawsuit, the vegan plaintiff said he believed the burger he ordered, Sam's, but I guess I mean without mayonnaise, was meat-free, but instead felt duped by Burger King. He's not the only customer. Customers have been taken to social media for months to gripe about the cooking method, said one Twitter user. What is the point in the Impossible Whopper if the patty is cooked on the same broiler as the beef patties? And I wonder how many people know. Well, what are you actually talking about? Get out of your vegan dogmatic mindset and stop being all religious and realize, like I said, it's a plant-based burger. It's not a vegan burger. Oh, God, Jesus. These people are a bit frustrating, really.
It's like your own fault. Take full responsibility for it, like I said. Someone even said it. I wouldn't be fooled in a Whopper Impossible Burger. Whopper blind taste test. I don't doubt it's not okay. It just wouldn't be the same for me. Plus, they cook it on the same broiler as their Whopper patties anyway, so I'm sure that helps. And man, I've tried one of these Impossible Burgers, and I thought it was a vegan. It tastes like real meat, but because I hadn't had it for years, I didn't know the difference. But now, I've stopped being vegan since about 30 days ago and having some real high quality grass for beef, I realize it tastes nothing like it, it's just garbage. And if you think about it, why Burger King said in this? Because they know there's a lot of money to be made. It's not a vegan friendly company whatsoever. And if they can make money from a plant-based food, then they're gonna do it. And that's what they're doing. And it even says here that they've had a 10% jump from the same period in the previous year with their revenue since selling this plant-based burger. So it's doing really, really well. And if you actually look into the investors, just to give you a bit of a clearer picture on one of the main investors, one of them is Bill Gates. And guess what? Bill Gates is known to be a huge investor into pharmaceutical companies. So it's a burger that is just absolute garbage. It's full of toxic ingredients, which I'll show you in a while, which is just not giving you loads of good high quality nutrition, unlike if you've got a high quality grass fed beef burger, which will make people more sick. So then guess what? They're gonna be wanting to buy more pharmaceuticals. So then he is going to be making more money. So you need to think about what you're doing. Even if they're cooking it on a grill, which doesn't have meat cooked on it, and you're vegan, you're still giving funds to a company that is having investors like Bill Gates, who are doing a lot of things in the world that are damaging the environment and people's health and so on. So if we look into the ingredients, oh man, look at this, water, textured wheat protein, oh my God, full of absolute glue, mess up your gut, give you digestive issues like gas and bloating, mess up your mental health, coconut oil, another refined oil, potato protein, more refined crap, natural flavors, that could be in anything, it could be made from human feces and some natural flavor is known to be made from that. Soy, yeast extract, refined salt, soy protein, isolate, konjac gum, Xanax gum and these B vitamins and other minerals. So a lot of people are like, oh wow, it's got a really high protein content, so it's a good alternative rival because it ain't got the cholesterol in and all that saturated fat, but it's got so much other crap in it that it's not designed for us. It's just not natural at all. But obviously most people that are eating this care about health more specifically, they just care about taste. And it even has genetically modified ingredients. And the two ingredients that are genetically engineered is soy, which is this leg hemoglobin soy, and the soy protein. So yeah, get all those GMOs that are also gonna mess up your DNA and cause so many other issues. And guess what? They're full of glyphosphates, which come from Roundup, which just has so many damaging effects on people, more than you can ever believe. It strips nutrients from plants, it strips nutrients from your body, it spreads heavy metals, it does so many really, really bad things. It's not something that you want at all. So yeah, stop complaining, vegans. They're at least doing something that you partially believe in. Yeah, as you know, vegans are always trying to find something to complain about. It's like if someone even goes vegan like a famous person, they say, oh, well, this thing they're doing is not vegan and this. Oh, you can never make them happy. Jesus Christ, they make it hard for so many people. It's absolutely ridiculous. And this vegan family is eating it, and it's like, oh man, I feel sorry for this vegan family being fed this undernourishing, malnourishing, toxic garbage. And these children are developing. This is gonna have such a negative effect on their whole human experience. It's so sad to see. It's like, man, just give them some high quality meats, man. Don't give them this crap. It's like, Phew. but yeah, as we know, most people are just food addicts and they don't care about their health. So it's like, yeah, enjoy that and shorten your maximum lifespan and your whole way of life. And man, I used to be one of those vegans that thought Impossible Burgers were so good because then more people go vegan. And this is a quick clip of me showing you from a vlog that I made before when I was in Singapore of eating the Impossible Burger. This one over this side is the Impossible Burger. What garbage. Whoa. That tastes exactly like a Burger King patty. I remember from years ago, wow, like seven years ago, and I used to eat that stuff, wow. 
So to me, that's really appealing. I've been wanting something like this for so long. So it used to be a massive non-vegan junk food addict. And yeah, that was true. It absolutely met that desire that I've been looking for for so long on a vegan diet. And yes, it did taste good to me at the time. I thought it tasted like a real burger. But now I've actually switched back to a animal-based diet and at burgers, no, it tastes nothing like it. It just tastes like absolute garbage, refined, processed, like fake meat that is just not like the real deal at all. So that's it from me on this video. Leave your questions down below. If you like the video, like it down below. Don't forget to share love and don't forget to click that subscribe button to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. So as always, stay happy and enjoy the rest of your day. Peace.